A very good morning, students. Morning, sir. So, do you know why you are here today? Today, you are going to experience a very special class because I am going to give a demonstration of a robot. You know, nowadays we are studying AI, artificial intelligence. So, this is a short demo or demonstration to show how we can program a device or you can call it a robot, how it will perform its action according to the command. Okay, so just I want to show you two robots. These are from ARC company that means Applied Robotic Control. Okay, these are for educational purpose. See the structure of the robot, it is humanoid in shorter version, right? Very important and updated motors are used. They are called servo motors. Okay, they can rotate in every direction. So that it can perform exactly the actions should be performed like exactly like humans, right? So that and motherboard is also there and all the parts, instructions, commands are passing through these wires. These are data cables, right? All are connected according to the pin configuration and pin configuration is very much important for any electronic device, okay? So I'm just switching on. and periodically we need to charge this okay it runs on battery lithium battery is installed here so as you see this represent two eyes okay but actually the performance is done through this small camera okay and as usual you see the body part legs and every each and every individual parts can move and for to operate this we have a special interface designed by arc only applied robotics control i said that I am going to show you. Okay, first we have to connect this robot to the installed app or software by means of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Okay, just see I am just keeping it here or here only. Now see the interface. I am opening the interface, this is the interface, okay. Now first of all see from the network connection, I just need to connect this device. This is the device ID here, okay and these two are there and this is automatically got connected because earlier I connected once, right. After this you first have to go to this option example of ARC projects actually they have def designed many such robots and we have to choose the particular version okay so from this example of ARC projects we have to go to this option EZ robots and many robots are there robots you know robots are can be of any form not necessarily should be looking like human only okay in any shape any size from here we will be choosing this option this is this one JD you can call it robot JD okay so as you have seen the interface has detected the robot so now, now I am going to connect the device via this IP address so it is connected this is its initial position okay camera interface we can control from here only see it is from my laptop camera now we can change this to our this robots camera see clear now the first thing I want to show see how the eyes are working these are the RGB color animator yes please Sir, I actually had a query. Yes. How many more tasks can this robot do? It can do any kind of normal task. Just we have to program it. We have to define the action. Okay. If, if it can work, we can make it running also a little bit. If it can sit, we can make it stand up also. It depends on the different commands and the action that we have to def define. Okay. That interface also I will show you later. First see some uh, predefined or already made actions that I am going to show you 
first see that then you will be understanding what else we can do here right so first of all first of all i want to show you the rgb animator part okay here see all the different definitions are given for the eye if it is if you can see i'm holding it for this i can hold and show you it is showing different patterns okay is it visible yes. see the pattern is changing okay so these are the defined actions leds are connected inside so there according to the codes or command we can see spin spin roll many last stroke it is visible for you okay this is particularly for the eyes now if we go down see here actions few basic actions many actually many actions are already predefined and i have also programmed few so from here i want to show you the basic activities okay so for this i'm keeping it here on the floor see bow and execute and you will be seeing few commands are running here as you have done in python loop is running iterations so iterations will be executing here see this is just a simple action okay so i actually have a doubt yes please so what is the use of the panic button here panic button is showing all the activities to we all the combination of different activities is defining one action like for working okay each and every step will be under one instruction so if we combine all the instruction and running in loop then only the activity will be completed so see according to speed time and number of activities or actions it is showing the flow of the instructions if you follow for the next few actions you will be seeing the same way it will be following the instructions only okay yes thank you sir okay now just see the next it can fly also means gesture like flying once more you want to show or oh, see yes so as the robots are moving robots is moving and the camera is also moving see the vision is from its camera now another interface i'm showing you here speaker is inbuilt here it can play a song and dance accordingly i'm playing this happy birthday song okay so students you have seen just few common activities by the robots okay many more are there but still i'm asking you if you want to test it that means if you want to operate the robot are you interested yes okay okay so shongolan please come once for this i'll give you a simple interface from there easily you can operate it okay please come as many as possible i'll call you at just one activity you can perform here so see i'm giving a relatively easier interface this one okay so these are the actions defined stand up sit down fly right so you can try with that dance one from colon just take the mouse and click on dance one option that tab right side for this i should keep it down
So students, isn't it so fascinating? Thank you. So many more yet to come as you are uh, studying artificial intelligence in future. The inner part will come to know how actually it is doing. For that you have to improve your logic, coding style. Okay. You have to uh, theoretical part of AI also you have to understand. It is actually a concept. We are giving intelligence to machine. It is still you know two three uh, important pillars are there of AI like ML, DL. So, this part you can consider is actually ML, machine learning. Okay, more it can perform, you can, if you go beyond the machine learning, that means more coding approach you have to follow. Okay, and it is based on different critical algorithms and algorithm we implement to coding and then the actions will be performed. Okay, so in future we will meet and further we will discuss about it. Thank you everyone. Thank you.